Hey everybody, my name is Heather Finley. This is Tim P. Wanna be in the video? <laughs> nope. Alright, so I am back today for a video about movies that I watched in May. So in May I went to the movies six times. I am saying to the theater six times because I saw two movies twice because why not? So the first movie I went and saw this month was Captain America Civil War. Obviously this was a very highly anticipated movie for me because I've enjoyed the other movies. This, I just loved this movie. It was so great. Um, seeing more Scarlet Witch was awesome. Seeing her interactions with Vision, who they are married in the comic books, so seeing them kind of have a flirtation a little bit was really fun to see. Obviously, I shouldn't say obviously because you guys don't know this, but I'm a huge Bucky fan, so seeing more of him, seeing his interactions with Falcon, they need to do like a buddy cop type movie between the two of them because they're just awesome. And those actors, like, if you get a chance, just look up an interview with those two actors, Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie, because they are all hysterically funny, like crying, I'm laughing so hard. So yeah, I'll give Civil War five out of five stars. It was awesome. Um, that brings us to the second time I went to the theater this month, which was to go see Civil War again. Just as great the second time around. Yep, saw it. The first time I saw it in D-Box and the second time was a regular theater. So a little bit different experience, I guess you would say, each time. And the second time there's definitely less people in the theater. But yeah, totally still awesome. Uh, the next movie I went and saw after that was Nice Guys, which is the new Ryan Gosling and I'm totally spacing who else is in the movie with him, Russell Crowe? Yeah. Movie set in the, was it 70s era where they are investigators and kind of like a muscle guy investigating what happened with this daughter of a stateswoman. So it was absolutely excellent. Um, the director, Shane Black, I love his stuff to begin with. Definitely if you liked the movie Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, you're gonna like this one. Which that's actually definitely one of my all-time favorite movies. I've watched that one so many times. Like, speaking of Robert Downey Jr. and Civil War, Robert Downey Jr. and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was when I was like, hey, I really like this actor. So, yeah, totally enjoyed that one. That one, five out of five stars as well. I'm just gonna give every movie five out of five this month, for reals. So, um, that same night that I went and saw Nice Guys, we also went and saw Neighbors 2. I loved the first Neighbors movie. I love seeing Rose Byrne, or however you pronounce her name, playing kind of like a ditzy character because it's just funny because you've seen her play serious characters and different things, but seeing her as just being this like ditzy mom is just hysterical. Like I had no idea she was going to be that great at comedies until that one. Um, <laughs> seeing Zac Efron shirtless and um, other parts of him are is always awesome, of course. So if you enjoyed the first one, definitely check out the second one. Again, I'll give that one 5 out of 5 stars, because why not? I was thoroughly entertained. I'll probably buy it on uh, Blu-ray or whatever when it comes out so I can watch it again. After that, the next movie I went and saw was X-Men Apocalypse. Honestly, I am such a huge X-Men girl. Like, I remember in second, pl second grade playing X-Men on the playground, and I was always mad because the boys made me be Jean gray, even though I really wanted to be Storm. So, yeah, I am an X-Men nerd, so seeing them on screen is just always exciting for me. To me, this one felt like a really good, almost, conclusion to a trilogy, even though they haven't announced, like, what is going to be next, but it felt like, with the characters that we saw in First Class, you know, Magneto and Professor X and Mystique, like, and Hank, I should say, seeing those characters like through these three movies it just felt like a nice conclusion it left us lots of things to be excited for for the next movie the quicksilver scenes are all amazing evan peters is adorable and he just really makes every scene that he's in um i was actually surprised too sophie turner is that her name actually ended up liking her as much as i hate jean gray in general i just have never liked her in any comic i've read with her and yeah, I liked that actress okay as her. So, yeah, there was that. Um, yeah, I'll give it 5 out of 5. Again, I enjoyed it. Not perfect storytelling necessarily. There's definitely some gaps. Like, what happened in that helicopter? <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. There's just like a gap that makes no sense. 
But um, yeah, overall I really liked it. The Magneto scene when he is in the woods was very artistic and in general I really liked Eric's the setting up this happy life he has and then moving into the darker things happening in his life which leads him to certain decisions. I really liked that. So 5 out of 5 and uh, that will bring us to the 6th time I went to the theater and uh, I went and saw X-Men a second time because that's what my family wanted to go see on Memorial Day and I was like cool I'm totally in let's go again. So there's the conclusion on movies for May. Like I said, totally good. I meant to go see Money Monster, but never had a chance. So maybe I'll see that soon. Maybe I'll just wait until it's on Netflix. Tonight I am on the way to go see Me Before You. So next month I'll be back and let you guys know how that one is.